Yo, Toe, what up? It's your boy P Money, and I'm back with another video. I'm saying today we just coming at y'all with some Bernard Hopkins verse Mike Tyson content, man. It's B Hop. I really want you to watch this full fight, bro. It take time to beat Mike Tyson. You can't you ain't just gonna whoop Mike Tyson in the first couple of rounds. If you really know how to fight, you know you're gonna get dropped a couple of times fighting Mike Tyson. Watch my style, bro. No patience, bro. You gotta be patient, bro. Look, boom. I'm, I'm gonna lose. I'm willing to lose the first four rounds. I'm in the car right now. I'm, I'm, willing, to, I'm willing to lose the first four to five rounds because I know I'm gonna knock you out at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be patient, bro. I'm saying I'm jabbing to the body, jabbing. Jabbing. Now I'm trying to see what his energy is like. If you let me dictate the pace, you're gonna lose the fight, bro. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna post one of my L's, but I ain't lost it a minute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to post me losing. But I ain't lost it. It's really hard to beat me, bro. So I'm just sitting here in the pocket with him. Yeah, I hit that like button, man. Subscribe. It's rock. I'm not gonna lie, if you don't know how to really box with Mike Tyson, you really lost. You know what I'm saying? Mike Tyson probably one of the best dudes in the game, but people make him trash because they don't know how to box for real. Mike Tyson with a big right hand. Well, look at this dude. And I ain't down in his skills at all, but he ain't messing with me. I'm saying getting that distance right, just toying with him. You know what I'm saying? When I when I make videos now, I just now start making fight night videos. I try to like I don't even, I don't really watch B Hop that much, but I'm a boxing fan, so I try to imitate that style a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Really fight him on the outside, but when it's really time to get dirty, fight him in the inside. You know what I'm saying? I get busy for real on fight night. I'm gonna stop talking, let y'all watch this video. I'm out. One, two. Up top with the right hand. And that's the end of round one. Here we go. Round two is underway. Punch from his opponent, well blocked by Mike Tyson. Blocks that punch. That's good work by Bernard Hopkins. The combination punching is something that he stressed to us in the pre-fight buildup. Hopkins' combination punching is working well here. Now there's the jab. Hitting his mark there, going upstairs. Keep your distance. Halfway through round number two. Now your mentor, Customato, became Mike Tyson's legal guardian. Going back 30 years prior to that, he had Floyd Patterson, who at the time became the youngest heavyweight champion. Were there parallels that Cus would make between Floyd and Mike? There was similarities. Floyd coming from Brooklyn, Tyson came from Brooklyn. Floyd had some problems as a youth on the street. Of course, Tyson had a lot of problems. They both could punch. They both had speed. Now look, though, you two, I really be dragging these fights, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I just be dragging them for real, for real. I could have been got him out of it. Got him out the way. But man, I just want to let y'all know that. I be dragging these fights sometimes. I can really get these dudes out the way. If anybody know how to do live commentary, let me know, man. Because that's what I'm on for real, for real, bro. Appreciate all the subscribers y'all been. Support me a lot, bro. You know what I'm saying? Get me. Comments and shit. All that shit, bro. I appreciate all that shit. Man. If anybody want to fight, get at me. You know what I'm saying? Get at me. 
I did not respect that knockdown at all, though. It's all good. It comes with fighting Mike Tyson. You know what I'm saying? That's what comes with fighting Mike Tyson. If you think you're just going to dance around Mike, you're not. You're going to get dropped a couple of times, but that's when patience comes in. You know I'm willing to lose a couple of rounds. I'm willing to get dropped three times. You know what I'm saying? Comes with it. Oh my God! I think live, I think live commentary might not be the thing. I might watch a video and commentate over my video. He just hit me with a knife. <laughs> oh my! He hit me with some shit. Oh my goodness! Let me see how I came up. Let me see how I came up. Yeah, I'm like he throwing way too many punches. He ain't got no. You know what I'm saying? E, e. That should have eat. That should have landed, bro. Yeah, bro. Commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. I'm not going to lie. B-Hop probably the best 175 pounder in fight night. If you really know how to use him, you got a solid defense, solid jab, solid speed. Probably the best left foot to the body next to Oscar. I could have beat him on the inside for real, for real. But I wanted to make this realistic. Nobody can just beat Mike Tyson on the inside. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Harry brings the jab right hand. Teddy, he may go down just by stumbling the way he's bumbling around this ring. Well, he's got to stop moving. Actually, you never want to fight on the ropes. This is one. Look now. I want y'all to see this. I'm down. I'm down. But this is what comes with it. If you watch my fights, I'm most likely going to be down. And if I'm up, I'm most likely going to knock you out that next. If I'm up 3-0, I'm going to knock you out, bro. You know what I'm saying? Early. But if I'm down, I'm figuring stuff out. I'm still reading. You know, I'm a patient fighter. I'm willing to lose a lot of rounds. I'm not tripping. I get active. Hopkins' offense has nearly left the building. But that has a lot to do with the fact that he was hurt earlier. He got tagged. Now he's got to find a way... To be defensive, to make sure he survives, clears those cobwebs out a little bit, but he's got to reconnect the offense before it's too late. Ninety seconds to go in round number four. Mike Tyson rocked by a hook to the body. Boy, that worked out well with the uppercut. Bernard Hopkins is landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. here at the start of this round which is just part of what has been a very evenly and now around this round i start throwing some different shit you know what i'm saying just trying to find my distance for real for real start taking more risk trying to get y'all the mindset of what i'll be on for real for real once i start throwing them uppercuts it's over with though i fight like bud 
the power punches, Teddy. What would you say to him? Well, first of all, I would say to him. He just let me work. I don't mind going to work. If you don't hit I don't mind going to work. Hit you hard? No, no, it doesn't work like that, my friend. He's going to get confidence now. He's going to take advantage of this. A solid left hand by Mike Tyson. <laughs> well up top turns over that hook and he does damage upstairs halfway into round number five here and he just holds on there A little volume punching to the body there Stairs, but off target. Tyson's corner has to give him some advice here because that left hand has been scoring too consistently. Exactly, Joe. And there's nothing else that he really has to worry about. Did in that last round, and that kind of energy moving forward here because I do believe he's ahead on the scorecards in a close fight, very close fight. Yeah, I see it about the same way. But you just said it. It's very important that his corner people now. Don't really tell him that he's ahead. I think they let him think that if he's not behind, it's a dead even fight. And keep pushing, keep pushing right. There. Stay responsible, stay within yourself, but keep pushing. Nice work with the now, once I get in this bag, it's over with. Once I get in that pushy bag, once I get in that size you up bag, it's over with. I'm trying to clip you with some shit. Eee, eee. You really gotta look at what I be throwing, bro. I'm, I'm really nice with it. I'm nice with it, bro. I can throw power punches. I can throw volume punches. It's whatever. However I want to fight. I'm going to fight. I'm going to get in that pushy bag. Ugh, it's over with. That B-hop bag. That dirty fight bag. Yeah, give him that dirty work. We don't like that. That nasty, the nasty uppercuts. Ugh, I probably figured him out by now. Ugh. Sitting on my punches. Huh. Yeah, at this point, his punches don't even matter no more. Oh, never mind. This is why you gotta do live commentary, bro. <laughs> bro, fighting Mike Tyson is tough. But I was most definitely just whooping, bro. So he goes down again and give him credit for rising up and beating the count. But Teddy, this referee's got to have an eye on stopping this fight. Well, if he's a real ref, if he's doing his job, he got dropped and kept coming forward. Real definition is sticking to the game plan. Tyson smashed by an uppercut. Good exchange. He fires back. Time counter shot the overhand right after the block punch, and that's the end of round six. Situation here, yes, we're up in a close fight, but anything can happen that can turn things around and go against us. Good looking uppercut that time, trying to cut down that tree one shot at a time. Turns the favor with a right hand of his own. Tyson's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Fires right back at him. Bernard Hopkins has done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. I don't necessarily know that I like what he's doing right here. Yes, he was knocked down, 
but to completely change styles. How does that necessarily benefit you? Well, it benefits you in one possible way, where your opponent gets a little taken by it, a little put off by it, a little confused by it, and he leaves you alone. It buys you a little time to recover. But it can hurt you because, really, the thing that brought you to the dance was the thing that now you're thrown right out the window. Tyson's in desperate need of an adjustment here. His style is not conducive to this fight turning around right now. These middle rounds are not being won by a brawling style. No, not at all. If he had a physical guy in front of him, he'd get away with it. But he's got a technician in front of him. A guy who's just taking him apart. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. Keep doing what you're doing. And we come to the end of the round. Wait, what? I'm down? I'm down? Round number eight. Teddy, you've got him up slightly, but I don't know. I'm watching this fight, and I think at any moment it could turn. Yeah, this is like in the old days, you know, the corner might break off one of those ammonia capsules, one of those smell salts, you know, in the nose of a guy. Pick him up a little bit, bring him down the home stretch. Hey, you can't use those anymore, but you can use some stern, strong words. Get going. Come on, pick it up a little bit. Don't sleep now. A little head hunting with the right. Focus. Good solid shots with the combo downstairs. Keep moving. Tyson's not having things go his way tonight, but there's one easy explanation for it. He's barely moving. He's just stationary there. And his opponent's taking great advantage of that. He's coming in, he's finding him, he's giving him angles. You know, I think part of it is frustration. He's not moving because he's being kept off balance. And right now, he's just not thinking right. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punching. Scored well with the left downstairs. Accurate shot. Straight right hand comes in. Hopkins is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Tyson's lucky he just got away with one there. He just snuck in a headbutt. And the ref looks at him and says, no headbutting, hands out the warning. Tyson's Ty. not going to get away with this I here. That headbutt, the referee is saying point. that was an intentional foul, and that's a point deduction. <laughs> Ever finishes the rounds because in these kind of tight rounds, if you finish up good, the judges remember that. Off to the side, a little swim and miss going upstairs. Mike Tyson's got to find an answer for this because his accuracy has been well off the mark. I like the fact he's willing to throw, but he needs to land more. Yeah, he needs to calm down and think more. Super jab by Mike Tyson. He's committed to that jab, and he doesn't just throw one out there, but brings the second one immediately behind it. Right on the mark with the hook up top. Doing well here with that two punch combination. Solid uppercut. Thank you. 
Hopkins is the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Now this round right here, a thing of beauty. Just watch and learn, boys. And he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can He's chomping at the bit. He's confident. Tyson's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Come on, side to side. If you made it this far into the video, put a P in the comment section. going into a shell plus he gives his opponent such angles he is a very tough defensive fighter to conquer final minute of this final round of this fight frustrating his opponent with great defense Tyson's got those earmuffs on and he's got his hands tight against his body but Teddy still some things are getting through yeah I mean it's kind of like driving a car Joe you know in the the weather's a little bad, and you say, I, I want to be safe here. I'm going to stop the car. You don't stop and park the car in the middle of the highway where cars are coming. I mean, he stopped right there in the middle of the highway. Cars are coming. You know, pull off somewhere. You know, get the heck out of there. Find the right parking spot. Ten seconds to go in this, the final round. This was an easy fight to score from start to finish after that effort. Well, you never know in this sport with the scoring, but this is one you know. We're going to know in moments here as we send it up to the ring. Hopkins. Hopkins' performance tonight was exactly what he was looking for, and it's exactly what...